Hi everyone, hope this finds you well and getting a little bit of R&R this week. I wanted to just quickly go over the writer's workshop in case you guys had any questions. So I'm gonna open the assignment and go to the instructions. So you're gonna read the questions on slides five through 19, make adjustments to your lessons, and then you're gonna share your lessons in this provided Google Drive folder. Step four, you're gonna complete the writer's workshop with five of your peers. This should be done Friday by 3 p.m. Um, if you guys need longer, that's okay. Um, just let me know if the going through the weekend works better for you guys, whatever works best. Um, then I will try to share the feedback um, of this Google Doc. I can share it as a um, Sheets doc. If you guys decide that you all want till maybe like Sunday or something, I'll just share out the feedback then. Then you're going to revise your lessons. What were the big takeaways? Um, what do you plan to include in your revisions? And then you're gonna turn in your revised lesson plans. So here is the folder. I have it open in this tab. Hannah is the only person that's put it in so far. Then the re remote writer's workshop. The beginning part kind of tells you, sorry, it's taking forever to load, um, a little bit about the guidelines, how the workshop is gonna work. So you're gonna read through the slides, make adjustments to your lessons, share your lessons complete the form, read in the shared feedback, you're gonna revise your lessons and then turn in your revised lesson. So each of these slides has to do with questions that you want to be getting in the habit of asking yourself with all of your lessons. The more that you write lessons, the more intuitive this process will become. And you don't have to have every question be applicable to your lesson plans, but you should kind of keep these in the back of your head. So big ideas and rationale. What's the big idea of the lesson? What is the rationale? Why this lesson? Why is it important for your students to learn this? Will this be relevant in 20 plus years? All of these questions are helping to guide you guys to have your lessons be more open and applicable to all of your students and to give them a place in your lesson for their own voice, um, autonomy, and choice. General planning. What questions do you have concerning the sequence of this lesson? What other resources or materials are needed? Is a lesson plan easy to follow? If not, why? What questions do you have? If this lesson, um, if this was your lesson, how would you prepare for unexpected changes? Standards and goals, so making sure that you're adding either the main standards or the national standards. Equipment and technology, what will you need? What will be useful? How will you organize the space? Classroom management and climate. How are you encouraging this positive interaction between yourself and students? Studio habits of mind. So if you have already read Studio Thinking uh, 3, this is what the book is all about, are those these studio habits of mind and how they apply to the classroom. These are specific questions that I have pulled from Studio Thinking 3. Um, to help you think about how you will address these in your teaching. So you're going through these questions, thinking about if you can make any changes to your lesson plan. After you've made the lessons that you want, uh, the changes that you want, then you're going to be putting them in the folder. And then you're going to be answering this Google Doc for your, each of your peers. So you don't have to answer every single question. Try to do as many as possible so you're able to provide them with as much feedback as possible. It's also really helpful if you can think of artists or other resources that you're familiar with to help them in the process. I hope this video is helpful. Please reach out to me if you guys have any questions. Ideally, it would be great for you guys to give your peers feedback by Friday or maybe Saturday morning. And that way, before Monday's class, you guys could make a couple of revisions before you start teaching on Monday and the week gets away from all of us. So I hope you guys have a wonderful vacation and I hope to talk to you guys soon. Take care.